Hello everybody, this is TT95 here and welcome back to Dreamfall Chapters. Uh where I don't know why they didn't kill him in the nick of time. After all, he's our enemy. He murdered Raven. Huh. I hear he defected. The apostle's one of those now. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. Ah. Uh, don't mind me. Um Shit, he's here. Yeah. What if he heard what? Shh. They're waiting for you out in the main hall. Where's the main hall? Okay. I can't run. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. That's so pretty. Guessing this way is the main hall. What is that? The traitor is back on his feet. Praise the balance. How are your wounds? My wounds are fine. What is this place? Hoping to run back to your masters with the information and buy your life back? Glico. No. You are in the Enclave, the ancient library of the Sentinel Order of the Balance in Mercuria. It serves as our base of operations. Our? The Resistance Alvani. Those who have come together to fight the Azadi. Magicals like her and me. I remember. The Captain. I murdered him. His blood is on my hands. The portal. Blood magic. The shadow has cursed me. The goddess will not touch me again, and will never walk the slopes of the first mountain. The, the captain. Balsai Bakin laid down his life for yours, Kian. Why? Believe me, I've asked the same question. Why? Why lose a great man like Bakin over you, a butcher, an apostle, a fucking Azadi? He insults my people. They have committed crimes, yes, but the responsibility lies with our leaders, not with every Azadi. This creature, this man. I've seen many Dolmari in my life, but there's something familiar about this one. Do I know you? Perhaps. But then my people all look the same to you, do they not? We are livestock. I've turned my back on my people. So you're also a traitor, Kian Alvani. We'll add it to your list of crimes. I will not let anyone, least of all in my life. Why am I here? We chose you. We sent Captain Bakim to his death in exchange for your life. We need you. As a symbol. But also so much more. We need strength, we need leadership, we need hope. Our numbers are dwindling. Most Northlanders have come to terms with the Azadi occupation. Humans are turning their backs on the resistance and a blind eye to the genocide of magicals. We need someone to give us hope so that we can fight back and win. You're a tool, Apostle. A blunt weapon, nothing more. We need your help, Kian. Will you join us? Do I have a choice? There is always choice. And for every choice, there are consequences. You can't let me leave. If I refuse, you'll kill me. We might kill you anyway. Just give me a reason. <clears throat> we have sacrificed so much to bring you here. This is your chance for a new beginning, Kian. A new life. For the redemption I know you seek. I can never be one of them. But what choice is there? I have no nation, no faith. No mission. What does it matter that their resistance is not mine? And by fighting my people, 
I might save my people. What would you have me do? You will go into the city tonight with Liko and Enum. They will give you instructions and they will keep an eye on you to... to make sure. To help, if needed. I'll be watching from the shadows, Apostle. A poison arrow pointing straight to your chest. You know our cause is true. You know that your people are in the wrong. Do this and begin your journey back to life. I'm doing this for April Ryan. She was the one who made me question myself. My mission. My faith. Fuck you, Kazi. There is nothing you can do to repay that debt. April is dead, Kian. Do this instead for all those who still live. Do this for the soul of your people. Do this for yourself. The boat will take you to Shady Quay in Old Town. I will let you know when things are ready. After you're done with your mission, we'll meet up at Ulvik's Tavern. And if you don't show, we'll hunt you down and skin you like a rabbit. You may find I'm not a rabbit. Try me. Please. Liko. Enough. Hmm. Rebel, rebel. Our water tanks are running dangerously low, and I smell no rain on the wind. What are you planning? Are you planning on turning the Sentinel? Why would I be as obvious as turning the Sentinel? That's a fool's move. I don't know. You're a woman. Oh, shut your trap and play your instrument. Don't press. Hello. Hi. So, new guy, huh? I'm Enu. Actually, it's Enumar Sandia, Twilight Child, daughter of Teomar, and... And my father would kill me if he knew I used just Enu instead of my full name like a proper zid, but he's not around, so... Hey, I'm Enu. You're Kian. I can't not speak with these... these people. I am. Great, hello! Azadi, huh? That's... Yeah, great. <clears throat> I've never been. Is it nice? I hear it's nice when they're not, you know, waging war and murdering magicals. <laughs> uh. This is all she knows of Azadir. Maybe that's not so surprising. How would someone who's not from there know the truth? You think that's all we do? Oh, no, obviously there's, um, things I don't know. I just, we don't get to socialize with Azadi very often. The ones I meet wear armor and carry swords and shot a lot. Also, they kill Zid. So, uh, maybe I'm biased? Anyway, I, um, I just wanted to, you know, present myself for you. Introduce myself to you, not present myself. That's just, that's <laughs> not appropriate, Donna <laughs> Sorry, I'm screwing this up, aren't I? No! She You're doing fine. It's an honor to meet you, Enuma Sandya, Twilight Child, daughter of Teama. Oh, wow. <laughs> the same, Kian Albane, apostle of the Azadi son, son of... of um... It's just Kian now. You can call me Kian. Okay. K. Can I call you K? You can call me Kian. Oh. oh, yeah, that, that's much, much better. Kian, welcome to the Resistance, Kian. Sorry about Liko. He has issues. I will speak with him. In private. Oh, okay. Private. Got private. It. Got it. Won't pry. I'm trying to cut back on the prying. <laughs> She's not. I must prepare for tonight's mission. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, of course. I am keeping you from that. The preparing, which I should also do since, you know, also going. <laughs> Missioning. Missioning. We'll speak some other time, daughter of... Enu, just Enu. That whole daughter of blah blah thing, I try to avoid it here. 
Makes me look like I'm putting on airs. That's not me. I'm a farm girl, born and bred to be a farm wife and breed little zidlings. But yeah, no, that's not happening. So it's just Anu. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, preparations must be made now. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is way too much information. I was just gonna say hello and then blah, so, um, hello. And hey, hey good luck out there tonight. Well, oh, I'm gonna be there with you, but anyway, there it is. Aww. <laughs> Hoi, Avane Dar. It's an honor seeing your eyes. Dar, who taught you the proper Azadi form of address? Oh, I, um, I, I, I did business with your peep, with the Azadi for several years. Until my aunt's tavern was shut down and she was arrested. And, until I learned what was really happening. You took part in that raid at the Journeyman Inn. Benrim Salmin is my mother's sister. She raised me after my mother died. I, uh, I, I took her surname. I'm Jackai. Jackai Salmin. I was following orders when I arrested his aunt. But that doesn't absolve me of responsibility. Your aunt was harboring rebels. I was under orders to arrest her. I'm sorry for what happened to her. Your aunt is a strong and honorable woman. Oh, I, I don't blame you, Dar. Neither does my aunt. In fact, it was her idea to break you out. She knows you'll be an asset to us. You know, I only joined the resistance less than a year ago. Before that, I was a businessman, and my customers were mostly Azadi. Mm. He obviously wants to tell me his story. I should let him. It was good business. I, uh, I profited from the occupation. I made a lot of money. It shames me to admit it now, but I actually believed in the Azadi. What they were saying made sense. Even, even the things they say about magicals. For a while, I blamed them for everything. I even went so far as to join the National Front for Faith and Family. Do you know who they are? Azadi collaborators. Anti-magical crusaders, turncoats. I'm not proud of that. This story seems important to him. He needs to get this off his chest. I should let him continue. But then, when my aunt was detained and sentenced to five years in Cold Stone, it, it changed everything. Opened my eyes. I realized it wasn't the Magicals who were at fault. It was the Azadi. It was us. Those of us who didn't speak up or, or take action. Those of us who betrayed our own. He really wants to get this off his chest. I sought out the resistance. And now here I am. With all these brave people. Like... Like Anu. Oh, she's great, isn't she? I'm really impressed with how she, uh, how she holds up. Boy, the Zid are a really striking people. So pretty. Mm. Anyway, that's my story. It's quite, quite a story. story. Isn't it, though? <laughs> I'm glad to have you with us, Dar. It'll make a huge difference. You have my support. I should be getting ready for tonight. Of course, Alvane Dar. Kian, I'm sorry for going on and on. Good luck out there. Right, that's this game, bugger, then. Just do what you normally do and push the pieces around until you lose. Quiet. I need quiet. I know it.
Take Anik with you, and Ina also. They've both been begging for a mission. She'll keep guard while the... So the Apostle has finally risen. A shame the fever didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. Oh. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. I'm certain again that I've seen this Dolmari before. No matter the circumstances, I will never let anyone speak to me in that way. He hates me. But why wouldn't he? His people has caused mine suffering and death, and we have returned the favor twofold. I'm we have met before, Dolmari. I know it. We have. I wouldn't expect you to remember where. I'm sure it mattered little to you. Just one more blue face amongst the thousand you have murdered. Like you, I'm from the West, from the great continent we call Antigua Abba, land of the setting sun, the place your people call Mihadbir, and then Azadir, as though through occupation you came to possess it. You are of the Azad Dolmari tribes. I am of the Dol Antigua, the Western Dolmari, first of my people. And yes, we have met before. Apostle Alvani, you murdered my father in front of me. If it hadn't been for my mother holding me back, I would have torn your throat out, and then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards, but I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all, what's another filthy magical? You made me who I am today, and someday soon, I will unmake you. But I swore to Shepard that I'd set my private grievances aside. For now, unlike you, I keep my oaths. But if I ever suspect you plan to betray us like you betrayed your own, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. And once this war is over, we'll settle our accounts. You will pay for my father's death, my mother's grief, and my people's suffering. Mark my words, Butcher. Your days are counted. Ouch. Light of the Goddess. Ba, ba, ba. Once blind... Once blind Bob. Mm. Is it true that Captain Bakim sacrificed his life to free you from Friar's Keep? He was a good man. I hope it was worth it. I'm glad to see you're up and about. Most gambled on the fever taking you. I won quite a few iron pieces, to be honest. Thanks. Nope, he's not gonna talk to me. The resistance. A year ago I fought them. Today, I'm one of them. No, you're not gonna talk either? They're a scruffy lot, these rebels. How can they really expect to win against my people? Truth be told, they may not look like much, and they don't have the resources, but they won't give up until the Azadi are gone, or their resistance is dead. The resistance. A year ago, I fought them. What are they playing? Ah, oh, this game would I don't be over so game, quickly if I was in Elmer's seat. You are so dead, Osak. Oh, sorry. Whoever wins plays against me. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment down below anything in general, and this is TT95, signing off. Bye, guys.